Quick, smash that like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds if you're hyped for the non-harvesting and non-building area being added into Fortnite Battle Royale in the next few days. Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video and today I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of map changes which we missed in the previous map change videos and showing you guys a map change which happened today which is really, really exciting. But if you guys are new around here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Roughly 70% of you guys watching this video right now aren't already subscribed and we're getting closer and closer to 450,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me out, it would be a dream come true to hit that as soon as possible and obviously just to keep going and pushing and pushing thank you everyone who has been supporting the channel recently we really have been growing so much love and respect to everyone doing that also don't forget to go and enter in code postbox pat a quick shout out's popping up right now but let's get straight into this and show you guys where we are at so the first map change i want to show you guys is dusty divot now dusty D dusty divot why do i always say that dusty depot this is just going to keep happening i apologize i always say that but dusty depot has had a change inside of the actual gray dusty depot which is the third one along as you guys know in the original dusty depot the colors were the other way around or not exactly they were just mixed up so it's a little bit of a different change and that's not the map change well inside of here if you log in right now and pop in to dusty you'll notice that this like container or cabinet or whatever you want to call it like cargo area has completely changed like this garage is just different like it's just crazy like it's changing guys there's something going on in dusty and to show you guys that i'm gonna have to pop into another game but this is the first version that we got when we first landed in in season x but now it has changed so let me show you guys the changed version okay so now we're going to be looking at the second update of dusty depot so this one's really cool because what we've got right here is basically kind of like they're chucking out all of the storage inside of the depot and setting up something new inside of here. Now, if you guys haven't already checked out my storyline video yesterday where I tried to crack the Season X storyline and how it's going to end and also just explained what on earth is going on, well, this could link to that. I did explain yesterday a little bit how potentially we are in a second realm, stuck in a time period, and we're kind of stuck in maybe a three second period. Everything's frozen on the map and people can still move around it's not like everything has stopped everything has like basically what's happened is the world has stopped moving everything's just paused but the fortnite map still has the ability to kind of if you're a resident here to walk around and stuff just all the events and stuff like that has paused and the actual stuff going on in the universe is just kind of stopped and you're stuck in an element of time it's like everything it's like someone pressing pause right now in real life everything being paused it's like not really relevant or well it is relevant but you know what i mean like certain things being paused and certain things not. it's quite hard to explain that uh, but you get what i mean and inside of here i think this is something to do with what they're going to use to kind of maybe teleport the meteor away when someone presses play again or just analyze what is going on you can see they've got a meteor rock on here they've set up a bunch of computers and this is the first stage of a few stages there's going to be a few changes happening to this apparently i'll keep you guys updated on what happens next we hopefully will see some more stuff we can see a chair has been set up and the obviously the telescope is pointing at the meteor right roughly it's a little bit off but it's kind of pointing at it so that's what we're going to be getting from that so this telescope is pointing towards the meteor right which is really exciting stuff i don't know why it doesn't actually reflect it very well but you know you get the idea it's pointing straight at that meteor right and they're sitting here keeping a lookout on that and just kind of judging it and thinking you know potentially we got to do something about this so we're probably going to see other stuff be added to this section which is really exciting news and this is the first map change which i've got for you guys now let me go over and show you guys the next map change because this one is an interesting one and it's one that i actually didn't show off in my previous episode which i'm surprised a lot of people missed it wasn't just me there's a bunch of other people that do these map change things all over the place and they just miss a lot of stuff but this one i think everybody missed and this is something i wanted to show you guys this one's really really cool so this hut here this shot is just a random shot just in the middle of nowhere like let's be honest no one even really lands here but what's interesting about this shack is when you go inside of it everything is flipped it's extremely weird inside of here i did not expect this to happen it's kind of a reference to the halloween event which we had in fatal fields which was really freaky but everything is flipped upside down i think this is a really crazy room especially with the tv upside down the bed upside down it's pretty freaky but yes probably nothing to do with the storyline 
spot an interesting room and it does remind me of the Halloween event but who knows maybe we are going to see some stuff start to appear on this TV and potentially it could give us something to do with the storyline because the thing on the TV might be upside down and we might have to come to here to reveal that so interesting stuff right here guys an upside down TV not expected but we did receive it so a pretty cool map change right there for everybody wondering about that one now we've got three other smaller map changes which I quickly want to show you guys these ones are only minimal these are nothing really major but like I said I like to cover every single map change for you guys so you update on everything in the Fortnite Battle Royale universe. So I don't know where they all are, but I've found three of them. For some reason, Fortnite have added in permanent sprays on the map. So you can see it sometimes, you saw it then, the GG spray right there. Sometimes it renders out, it's a little bit glitchy in replay mode, but it's there. That is one of the sprays. Now there's a few others of these. From what I can guess, this is probably gonna be to do with something like challenge related but I don't 100% know. Now there's also one inside of the factories. This clearly wasn't here in the past because if you landed here, there was never a spray on this. So there's now a spray with a window there someone's put in. And the last one, which I found, if you found any others, remember to comment them down below. But the one that I found is actually on the tunnel over here on top of it. And it is one of these skin. I don't know the name of the skin off by heart, but yes, it's just located here and it says tilted on it. So it's pretty cool. It's one of these spray skins. And yes, there's free sprays, which I found and i assume there's probably more around the map as well i haven't searched everywhere but they're the ones i've actually come across while playing i thought hold on why are these in the map like what are they doing so i thought it's probably going to be to do with a quest and a challenge but you know you just never know with this sort of stuff now the next map change which i missed i didn't exactly miss this one but i just didn't explain it perfectly so i thought i would go over it again because it's a very cool map change and it's a really cool reference because this does reference back to the monster versus the robot event and that is this car person van person truck person over here whose arms fell off which references the event which we had because obviously in the event the robot lost his arm and that's all it's doing really it's just a really cool reference to that event i really do like it it's also the same color scheme as the monster uh, the robot the robot had a color team leader head der burger and a pizza pit shoe i think this one was rex arm and then the left uh, I think it was a drift head actually slash with a cool team leader and the left arm was just a standard arm so that was really cool and they referenced that pretty well with that car bot there so I think that was awesome to see that be referenced and a memory for our robot who saved us in the Fortnite Battle Royale universe. Now a few people were tweeting me this and I'd just like to clarify this as well for a lot of people tweeting me this. They were saying that these are the stone people. Now these aren't the stone people from what I know because these have been here since season uh, 8 when this area got added in. These pieces of rocks have always been here so these are not related to the stone people at all. Uh, will the stone people return? I don't know. It's a very sad moment for the Fortnite storyline, but you just never know. They could return. We know that the dog is here, but there are no sign of the stone family at this moment in time. Hopefully they do return. Maybe they could be like, on a boat or something. Who knows where they are? Who knows what they were doing over there? It looked like they were building some sort of farm, so maybe they're going to be somewhere else and they're just going to randomly appear, which is going to be really cool. So I'll keep you guys updated on all that sort of stuff which is going on as well. Now let's move on to some tilted towers talk and I won't be going into too many leaks and I'll warn you guys when the leaks start popping in so I've mentioned in the past how potentially Tilted Towers is going to get turned into a Wild West themed area and you can kind of see it in the trailer. Also a no building zone for those wondering what that is it looks like potentially right here in the trailer you go into some sort of ore barrier which will turn off your buildings. You won't be able to build which would be really awesome you also won't be able to harvest by the looks of it so I think the style of play in this area will be interesting and could be pretty cool. Now for those that wonder about me spoiling stuff I'm going to do it in a second and I apologize guys but it's something i want to ask you guys do you want me to put more leaks on the channel or not personally i don't like doing it but there's a little poll on screen which you guys can vote in do you want to see more leaks yes and then or no and whichever one gets the majority that'll be it anyway spoiler right now so here is the map overview of the tilted town area this is actually all leaked from fort sorry so big shout out to him and also a few other sources which he put in his tweets which i will link down below but yes there's a lot of content right here which i can go over so this is the tilted map and um, what we're going to be getting which is really cool like an updated version of it which is really funny because this will be Tilted Towers 4th version, being obviously the normal standard Tilted Towers, the Neo version, the 
burnt out Tilted Towers and now the Wild West Tilted Towers, which is really cool. So Tilted Town, it's even got like a river running through. I think it'd be a really cool location. Next up, we have this kind of, I guess, sheriff type location, maybe some sort of jail in there. I think it's really cool. I do think building and uh, mining will be available or harvesting, should I say, eventually in this area. But I think for the first day or so, I don't think it will be. Here's the construction of the original clock tower, which is really cool. So again, I do really like that. It's a very nice little thing which they've added in, which is just a new addition, obviously. And it's kind of like the original to the tower. So it clearly shows that this season is going back in time as well. So we're being taken to the past. Obviously, these locations you're seeing, this isn't the official location. These are just some renders of potentially what we're going to be getting. I'll cover it in a map change video as soon as it comes. We're going to have a lot of map change videos this season. So you want to stick to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. There's a lot of information going to be happening with all this sort of stuff in Fortnite. Okay, so next, moving on to Fort Tory's little trailer. Where where he actually previewed the whole area. This one is pretty cool because he actually flies around the entire map going over a bunch of stuff. Now, I don't really want to show you guys all of it because it does kind of spoil it, but I'll show you guys a bit of it. And if you want to check it out, go and check out Fort Sorry. He's actually an awesome guy. He's been a friend of mine for a while. He does follow me on Twitter and we message every now and then. He was actually one of the first people to get in contact with me about leaks and stuff. And now he's grown really well. What he's showing off here is a little bit glitchy. Obviously, he's just showing off kind of the environment. He isn't really showing off the buildings, but it's pretty cool. And I guess potentially when Tiller gets added in, we're going to see it all and I'll be sure to cover it on day one in like the first hour it gets added in on the channel so you guys can expect that so make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell but yeah this is it from fort tory stuff feel free to go and check out the rest on his twitter but that's it for today's map change video. Like I said, I think there is going to be a lot of map changes in Season X. And I'll be sure to cover every single one on the channel. So make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're hitting that notification bell. I will not be missing one map change for you guys. So even a tiny little subtle thing I'll be covering on the channel. Just like in today's video with the sprays and stuff like that. So expect more of that on the channel. Obviously, if there's a one tiny map change on a day, I'm probably not going to upload it. Because it would be a waste of like a video just talking about one tiny thing for like a minute or so i like to explain things in depth as you guys know but we'll try our best to get every single map change covered on the channel this season almost every single one will be added into a video if it's like a tree like a brand new tree i'm not going to make a video just on a tree but you know i will add it in to a collection of map changes so really cool stuff right there hopefully you guys can get involved with all this stuff in the future and once again don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and this is postbox pat signing up